Joining us now in studio, Scott Shelber, a cybersecurity and technology expert who is the CEO of Berkeley Veritronic Systems. Uh, Scott, good to have you here. How vulnerable in general are the new cars of today? Well, really, all the new cars are actually vulnerable. There's a lot of exploits and a lot of cases where now they could remotely hack into the vehicles that we buy off the dealership's lot. And that's what's the big concern, because wireless comes into play. All vehicles now, connected cars, as, as they're called, have Wi-Fi, they have GPS, they have Bluetooth, they have cellular modems built in. These are all effective conduits that hackers can use to get into the ECU, the electronic control unit, which there's about 100 within all of the new cars. Once they can get in there, they could place malware and they could shut down any of the safety systems. So all new cars are very vulnerable. Now, how effective are countermeasures for all of this? Well, there's not a whole lot of countermeasures out there. Unfortunately, ECUs, these electronic control units, uh, minimize all the wires in cars. So it saves a lot of money for the, for the car manufacturers. So there's no central microprocessor that controls things. Instead, these are individualized ECUs that control all the different sensors to keep us safe on the road. And there's no real great safeguard against hackers getting in there to exploit these vulnerabilities. You have a, a piece of equipment here. Yeah. This helps us identify when you've been hacked or... or yeah, th this is Yorkie Pro. What, what really that does is this allows cybersecurity experts to focus in to where the conduit is, the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, and the cellular modems that are in all of the modern vehicles, so you could see if hackers are trying to place malware inside in what's called a, the network, which is called the CAN, inside of these modern vehicles, the communications protocol, where they could place malware and cause all kinds of havoc to shut down these critical systems. So if I'm worried, uh, I've got a car and I'm worried that for whatever reason somebody might uh, try to target me, I can get one of these yeah. and, and this will simply let me know whether there's been an attempt or is it exactly. very expensive to use this? Are there a lot of firms that have this? How does it work? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's not a cheap tool. It's around $5,000. So the entry price is expensive. This is often sold to law enforcement, espionage groups, certainly car manufacturers, so they can get the kinks out of cars to make sure that they're cyber safe and that cyber thieves can't hack into it so they can make it more and more difficult for them to penetrate and, and cause all kinds of havoc. Are there more vulnerabilities for the uh, autonomous vehicles, the self-driving vehicles? I hate to say it, that future is as exciting as it sounds. That opens up another whole can of worms there where somebody could now hack into an autonomous vehicle and cause all kinds of havoc. So the future, as exciting as it sounds, is very scary from a hacking perspective. So we're going to see a lot of things unfolding there. And from a security perspective, how well are the U.S. automakers doing in terms of both recognizing that there are vulnerabilities and then also taking steps to try to let people know, okay, here's what we can all do together to try to prevent this? It's a great question. Unfortunately, I hate to say it, they're very far behind the curve. Uh, some of my colleagues, other cybersecurity experts that have done a lot of research, such as Charlie Miller, they've exposed a lot of these vulnerabilities back in 2015 up till present, a lot of the major automotive manufacturers are very, very slow to actually implement security patches so that these new vehicles are not so vulnerable. They're not keeping up. They're focusing more on the features, the sensors, and not as much the vulnerabilities where, where, where cyber hackers are going to be continuing to, to exploit. It's terrifying. It's is, scary. Is there, any, is there any silver lining to this that at least the people are becoming more aware? I mean, I'm, I'm a very optimistic person. Unfortunately, <laughs> my advice here is buy an older vehicle and there doesn't, there doesn't have all the latest gadgets and sensors and Wi-Fi connectivity. The other area that people do not realize what really is is the problem here. Most of us are so tied to our mobile phones and our mobile phones sink into the infotainment centers, centers in vehicles. And that's really the main conduit. They're exploiting our mobile phones to get into our cars to place the malware to start all the havoc. So if you're not so quick to connect in your connected car, you'll actually be a lot safer. And also make sure that your phone has not been compromised and that's another exactly. solution. Scott Schilber, a cybersecurity and technology expert. Scott, good of you to join us. Thank you. Thanks for having me back.